I'm sure you guys are loving your FX6, especially if it's keeping your tank nice and clean looking like this. But are you guys keeping that impeller clean? In this video, we're going to go over exactly how to do that. Yeah, that's me up there. But that was like 20 years ago, guys. Let's stay focused. You ready? Let's go. So here's the lucky winner, guys. This is the FX6 that we're going to clean the impeller on today. But first, I'm going to show you guys a nice little trick of how to empty out about half of the water in this canister so it's not as heavy for you trying to lift it out from underneath your stand. We're going to use this valve right here to empty about half of the water and then pull the canister out from underneath the stand. Let's go. So we got us a bucket and this tube that came with your FX6. In case you didn't know what it was for, I'm going to show you exactly what it's for right now. So first thing we want to do is connect this end of the hose to the valve right here. So we're going to spin this red tab righty tighty to loosen it off of this white plug. Pull the white plug off and then install our hose. And then we're going to go lefty loosey on the red tab to tighten up our hose. Now our hose is connected to the FX6 going into the bucket. Next step what you want to do is close your inlet valve first. Then you want to close your outlet valve second. And then you want to unplug your FX6. Now we're going to open up the valve in the bottom. Next thing we're going to do is remove this outlet valve from the canister. Now I can't do that with one hand, so I'll be right back. Once you've got this outlet valve removed, the bucket will start filling up right away. Now keep in mind guys that this isn't going to drain the entire canister. Due to gravity, it's just going to drain about halfway. But it's going to make your canister lighter and easier to pull out from underneath your stand. Okay guys, so now the FX6 is about half empty or half full, whichever way you want to see it. It's super light, easy to get up onto your counter. And I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and finish draining it. We're going to drain it right out of the very same tube. Just open up your valve, let it drain. Now normally I wouldn't do this in the kitchen sink, but video's got to get done somehow, right? So now we got the FX6 fully drained, we're going to go ahead and remove the impeller unit. This is held in by four screws, two on each side. You can use a Phillips head screwdriver to get it out, but I'm going to use my handy dandy drill because I don't want the uh, wife to get home and catch me in the kitchen sink. And I hope you got one of these in your drain so you can catch your screws. Here's your impeller unit guys, once you got it out, grab the disc, pull it straight out and you'll see the unit comes out. Now take a good look at this notch that's right here. That notch lines up with this notch right here when you go to reinstall this. You got to make sure those are lined up or the impeller won't sit right. If, you're, if your impeller is sitting here with this big gap and this loose o-ring that is not correct you want to make sure that these two notches one and two line up correctly so that there is no gap once you push the impeller back in you want to make sure that there is no gap between the impeller unit and the o-ring As you can see though, this thing is dirty. It's got sand in it. It's got sand over the impeller unit. This is what will damage your impeller right away. Sand or substrate or gunk piling up on this is what's going to damage this and then cause you to have to replace it. Cleaning it is very simple, just want to rinse it underneath the water, get everything off of it, nice and clean, set that to the side. 
You also want to rinse out the inside of your chamber here. Now for this, Flu is going to want you to buy those fancy brushes to brush this in and out. I got a much better tool. Take your O-ring off, rinse that out. Make sure there's no sand or gunk or debris all the way around. Don't worry, this whole unit is waterproof. Give it a good rinse. Make sure there's nothing inside there causing it to clog up. Once you got that clean and rinsed, put that off to the side. And then finally you want to clean the hole where your impeller goes. Just try to just shoot some water in there. Get whatever gunk is in there out of there. Stick your brush in there, give it a good clean. And you're good to go, ready to reassemble. So again, match up that notch with this notch I showed you already. It's gonna go, whoa, almost messed up. O-ring. Put the O-ring on. You see here the O-ring is sitting on top of these ridges. It's not covering the ridges, it's sitting up above them. Line up our two holes. You know it's lined up right because the magnet will just suck it down. Give it an extra little push down and make sure it's secure. And you'll see there's no gap between the impeller unit and the housing. So just for extra safety, Fluvo wants to make sure you see this red arrow right here lined up directly with this black arrow right here. Now, I don't think you can put this impeller in the wrong way. You'd know that it was the wrong way. It'd be sticking, it'd be popping out from here and you'll see it's not flush. Now, this is not the gap that I'm talking about. See, this gap is fine. This actually has a little bit of play to it. The gap I'm talking about is between this black disc and the O-ring. You don't want any gap there. That's how you know that it's in all the way, the, right, the correct way. That red arrow that's on here faces up, so you know which way this goes back on. Plus, you've got the FX6 writing right here on the outside. Goes right in, kind of holds itself in place. And then you just want to get your four screws back in. Don't tighten these screws too tight. You just want them nice and snug. It's not going to go anywhere, trust me. There you go. Impeller unit cleaned. Guys, if you found that info helpful, make sure you hit that like button, all right? And if you want to watch the entire cleaning of an FX6, watch this video right here. But don't miss next week's video. I had to do something so terrible to this tank, so awful, I hated doing it. I wouldn't wish this on any enemy of mine or yours. Make sure you watch next week. See you on the next one.